to the Masterclass of End-to-End -end Traceability. My name is Fiammetta Mataloni and I take care of business development in Plug and Play Italy. I'm honored to share today an interesting story with a great ending, whereby a startup, Bex360, has become long-term supplier of our founder partner, Esselunga. I will first let our guests present themselves. Laura, please. Hello, my name is Laura Bacchiega, and I've been working for Esselunga for 27 years in the buying department. Now I'm the category manager for everything concerning sweets, hot drinks, breakfast products, and all the seasonal items. That's great. And Dan, the floor is yours. Hi, I'm, I'm Dan Jones. I'm the CEO and founder of X360, which was founded about seven years ago. Before that, I had been an international entrepreneur working in the Democratic Republic of Congo, India, and China, and before founding Bex360. That's great. Uh, are you ready today for answering some uh, curiosities on the traceability pilot? We try. <laughs> great. So, um, first question is to ladies. So, Esselunga. Um, Laura, what was Esselunga looking for? Uh, what was it trying to solve before you identified Bax360 as partner? Uh, we were developing a project about sustainable cocoa. That means that by 2025, all Esselunga private label packaged goods will use only sustainable sourced cocoa, including all food company products such as Esselunga bakery and pastry productions. To achieve this goal for all fair trade aspects, we decided to partner with the Altro Mercato, that is the Italian largest fair trade organization. And on the other hand, we wanted to give transparency and guarantee to our customers, certifying the whole supply chain, which is a value very important for our customers. Let me tell you that the cocoa supply chain is very complex, as Dan knows very well and uh, because many players are involved. And only if you trace each step from field to shelves, you can guarantee total quality and transparency to your customer. And you can assure this by using the blockchain technology. In this process, in fact, individual digital records corresponding to each step of the supply chain are linked together in a single list that is not changeable. This ensures the customer the chance to know everything about the product he will buy, and it will increase the reliability of sustainability claims. That is very important for us, of course. This way, the customer may know the whole true story of the product. And uh, so, last but not least, two years ago, we met and decided to be a founding partner of Plug and Play. In the first startup batch, we encountered Dan that presented us Bex360 blockchain solution for coffee. I remember it was June of two years ago, three, two years ago. And uh, this was as exactly what uh, we were looking for. That's great. So happy birthday to Dan and uh, <laughs> Laura. Um, Dan, I think it's time to tell everyone what your offering is and how does Bex360 system work? Sure. So I think Laura did a great job describing what we do in terms of uh, the cocoa market, but really Bex360 is, is a platform, a software as a service platform to trace almost anything from origin through retail. So in this case, we're tracing cocoa from the field to the retail. And importantly, at every step, we're able to collect the kind of what like we just say the who, what, where, when, and how much is paid and track the sustainability data at every node. So as the product goes from the field to the mill, to export, to import, to being, in S. Lucas case, to being processed into cocoa butter and cocoa powder, and then being placed in the end products, we're able to trace each one of those steps so that both our our partner, Esalunga, can, can have transparency to that supply chain, but also so they can be presented to customers so they know that there's transparency in that supply chain. So that's what we do for our customers. We track everything from coffee to cocoa to palm oil to recyclables. Um, and we were lucky enough to, to meet Esalunga and Alpha Mercado uh, in Italy two years ago, thanks to Plug and Play. So it's been a great project. Great customer, really. 
I, I can't stress enough how important it is to have a partner that, that works with you to help solve these things. Because ours is just software. We need help um, from the individual companies across these, these value chains. Right, right. And uh, Laura, why was uh, Selung initially that interested in Bax 360? I think you've covered some of this already, but what is the yeah. sense of your interest? Yeah. Uh, Eselunga considers innovation one of the main assets for developing, of course, and uh, we have many important partnerships with companies, universities, uh, and suppliers, and uh, knowledge sharing is for us definitely the most fascinating and efficient tool of open innovation. We have been founding partner of Plug and Play program for some years, as I said before, and this is very important for our innovation strategy as we have the chance to meet startups, follow new trends and explore different paths of new solution. This uh, partnership and collaboration with the startup world give us the opportunity to follow new ways to reach our goals. And uh, above all, it keeps us in touch with other companies with which we share and find new solutions for new needs. Great. And uh, on the other side, Dan, uh, from a different perspective, what were the main difficulties of uh, building an end-to-end -end traceability uh, system? Um, there's a lot of challenges across the whole supply chain because what we try to tackle is we've sometimes been called the micro tracers of the world. So we really do get into the details of every lot from the origin. So there's challenges on the ground and there's challenges all the way through the supply chain to integrate with the different partners. Uh, what we've done as a company to overcome these difficulties is we have tools that can work in, in very remote areas. We have a thing called an origin app, which can track the who, what, where, when of those purchases and make those, as Laura said, make those immutable so that data becomes unchangeable so that we can really correlate that sustainability piece into the transport of these goods from, from origin. The other difficulties are just, you know, the the general challenges of working in the developing world. A lot of our customers are in, you know, the cocoa comes from Togo and Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire. And also we're working in very remote areas like Somalia and, and across the globe in areas where we think our technology can really help the producers in those areas, but it's also difficult because of the government and some of the, the uh, I'd say non-transparent regulatory requirements of some of those, those, those locations. So. I think our team is good at dealing with those, but it's still difficult in a lot of ways. And not only regulation, COVID was not easy as well. How was how was it working remotely ag across uh, three different countries? Well, not all countries, continents. The pandemic yeah, impact the way you work then? Yeah, I think a lot of credit to Esalunga for being so available by, in COVID by, by tools like we're using now, Zoom and other tools. But it, to put a silver lining on, on COVID, it really made us have to train people and be able to ex help have people use our tools remotely. So, you know, the, as much as I'd love to come back to Italy and hang out in Italy and go to Ghana and be on the ground, uh, the pandemic for a silver lining kind of helped us make sure that we could, we could educate and, and interact and provide these tools remotely. Because as we scale our company, you know, as plug and play has taught us, we need to make sure that we can deliver these services at a cost that's effective. So always being on the ground and always being, uh, you know, in every area where we source cocoa is just not possible. So it, it's really kind of helped us in some senses, not perfect, but improve the processes we use to train people and to uh, have people use the system in, in many, you know, I think we're in 30 some countries now. Um, our, our software is. So we're in different languages, in different uh, cultures. So we, we really have to have a team that can, can express themselves across all the whole globe, really. Right, right. And Laura, can you already share some results on the collaboration amongst the Selunga and Bax360? Yes, of course. First of all, I have to underline that um, complex supply chain as cocoa make it difficult for retailers to know where the produce is really coming from, because usually cocoa beans are bought on the stock exchange through broker as cocoa is considered a commodity. 
in, in this way, large amounts are stored all together without any information about the specific origin. What the Salunga want to do is to check and monitor the specific origin of each batch. And the collaboration with BEX360 allowed us to achieve these goals. In fact, we already have in our stores products made with the sustainable and trace cocoa cropped in Togo, where we support the local community with social and ethical projects. Uh, because an ethical and sustainable supply chain has positive benefit on the land farm, farmed in an environmentally and friendly way, the resource used to um, produce the crop, the worker and the communities, the retailers, and last but not least, the customers who buy safe and high quality products. As I already said, by 2025, all Longa private label packaged goods will use only sustainable source cocoa. And this project is scalable, and we intend to extend the use of a sustainable cocoa to all food company products containing cocoa, such as Estelunga Bakery and the pastry production. And uh, our long-term vision is to include more products in sustainability project, such as items containing sugar as a raw material. That's great. And it's a great uh, objective for sure. Um, and then going back to you, <laughs> I'll ask you a cliche question. So as an American startup, how was it working with an Italian corporate? Was it a lot like this or how was it? <laughs> Um, Be careful to what you are answering. <laughs> um, it's been great. You know, it's been great the whole experience with Plug and Play from the very beginning, having applied and got accepted and, and being have the opportunity to meet many great companies. But really, I have to give credit to Estelungo. The, the meetings are, are always fun. Um, we don't always understand all of the humor, maybe. We wish we did, but we, we love to see the, the different cultures and the way uh, people interact. So it's been it's been great for us and, and the team, really. I, I, I never get anything but positive um, reviews. Like sometimes we, like I said, there, there's five or six minutes during some of the calls where we don't really understand everything, but the team is always engaged. Um, the goal has always been very clear. I think, you know, kudos to, to Laura and her team to say, like, this is what we're striving to do. In the end, we don't have to get there in two months. We have to get there. We have to make steady progress. Um, to really help the producers and ensure the sustainability, which has always been our goal as well. So I think the alignment of our mission, um, it, it plays through in, in, you know, the hard times and obviously in successes. We're, we're very proud of the work with that we've been able to do with Esalunga. So it's been, it's been great. It's been, uh, we really appreciate the language skills that you guys have. Um, we have some skills on the team that are, you know, we have some French skills and some Spanish skills, but really I got to give credit to <laughs> Salunga because the English skills have, have, are, are, are amazing to me as, as I like to say. That's, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> that's great. Um, and let's go back to uh, traceability. Um, Laura, according to Salunga, will product traceability be a major trend in the future? Will it stay as a that major and how will clients benefit from a more transparent supply chain? Yes, uh, I believe that uh, product traceability is and will remain uh, a very important trend in future. Having a clear overview of the supply chain give, uh, give the customer the possibility to make conscious choices. And we know that consumers value origin and transparency demanding consumer every day more attentive, want to know more about provenance of uh, raw materials and manufacturing processes to make conscious choices. And that's why we want to be more transparent and clearer. Nowadays, the customer is even more satisfied if his purchase has a positive impact on the local community and he can help to improve their work and living conditions. In fact, we had a great answer from our 5 million customers involved in our COCO project through, the, through our loyalty program, where they had the opportunity to convert their points and that the farmers to replace all COCO trees with new ones. And I would like to add that for Estelunga, sustainability, traceability and quality are strictly linked together. 
First, the obsession for quality is the building block of a Selunga's culture and offer. In fact, we care about the quality and origin of all raw materials, and it is our company's philosophy. One important principle by our founder, Bernardo Caprotti, was uh, never sell what you wouldn't buy or eat. And this still leads our business practices. But quality implies also responsibility. And this is why Selunga has committed to ensure sustainability along the supply chain, improving transparency and traceability of products. If you really want to pursue high standard quality and be transparent to your customer, you need to monitor each stage of the supply chain and record the full journey of the products. This is definitely what we want to do and what we, in what we trust. Yeah, that's great. And that will be much appreciated from my client's perspective as well. So thank you very much, Laura and Dan. That was extremely insightful. And thanks for sharing your experiences. See you thank later. You. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.